Don't we all want to feel in control around food, eating a variety of food without having any feelings of guilt, being able to eat really almost anything we want and spend time with family, friends and everyone who we love around Christmas time without being obsessed over food. I believe we do, but the Christmas season can be really, really hard for so many of us. So let's talk about how to get through the holiday and Christmas season without binging and overeating on food. If you've been following my work, you know that I talk a lot about triggers because I believe that's really where it starts. There is always a trigger that leads then to binge eating and overeating urges and that leads then to the actual binge or overeating episode. But what if we can't really escape from our triggers? For example, there are social situations. For example, there is a lot of food available between Christmas and New Year's. For example, there is a lot of talk about I'm going to just go all in, have all the food and I'm going to go then on a diet. So there is this anticipated scarcity or the last meal effect and people eat so much, so many more calories than they usually would do and then they go into the new year with a new year's resolution to now start eating healthy, go on a weight loss journey and be really good this year. The typical scenario for Christmas season is there is an abundance in food celebrations to go to where there are platters of food available. Sometimes we might feel even a little bit awkward because we don't know people or there might be an awkward situation with some of our family members. So what we do is we try to avoid that uncomfortable situation and maybe constantly eat food or we don't feel comfortable in social situations when we don't know people. So what we do is we keep ourselves occupied by pretending we're, or by eating, by drinking and just end up with way too much. And for those who maybe struggle with binge eating, when there are platters and platters of food available, just, um, just reach away. So we tend to then overeat or what some people then face, they want to go social gathering and want to be good. So they uh, practice self-control and have only a little bit of food, but that was so triggering for them. So when they go home, they then binge on the food that they felt they missed out at the party. So because sometimes we just can't afford our binge eating triggers and actually have to face them, and be able to manage them as they come up. I'd like to introduce you to some strategies to help you to get through this Christmas season, but also tools that you can apply at any time when you feel you are triggered to overeat or to binge eat. One of the tools are really more so mindfulness strategies. So first of all, I would like for you to take three deep breaths in with me together. One more time. And one more time. That feels different, huh? That feels different. Breath changes how we feel incredibly fast. So first of all, take a few deep breaths in. That will help you to set your parasympathetic nervous system so your it calms your nervous system down it takes you out of the fight and flight mode and then feel your feet on the ground feel the ground underneath you look up look around you notice what you see around you even even maybe notice the smell notice the temperature on your skin notice what you can hear so these are five senses uh, to be mindful and be fully present about what is happening. So that will that, that will help you to get out of this um, tunnel vision where all you can think about is, I just need that food. So try that and see how you feel. And let me know in the comments how you're feeling. What is it that you noticed when you were just doing that? What has changed for you? I'd love to hear about, about it. And then as a next step, there are some questions that you can ask yourself. What is it that I'm feeling? 
What are the feelings that are present for me? And name them out loud. So give them a name. Maybe it could be, I feel worried, or I feel anxious, or I feel, I feel sad, or I feel happy and I want to celebrate. So that can be the reason too why we eat. Or I feel bored. So, you know, and every time I'm bored, I just go and eat because it gives me something to do and keeps me occupied for a little bit. Another question I quite like to ask myself is, what does this, this situation, what does this feeling remind me of? So what do I connect it with? So that will help you to understand some, that maybe you're connecting that certain feeling with a certain situation and therefore also you tend to eat when you feel these feelings. So it might be repetitive and you might even find that there is a pattern for you and it's a learned behavior. So every time I'm sad, I go and eat because it makes me feel good. So we go back into a reward cycle. And this is actually how we create habits as well. Then there is a trigger, so there is a feeling, then there is a behavior, eating, and then there is a reward, so we feel good. And because it feels good, we're going to do that over again and over again and until it becomes such an automatic behavior for us that we don't even notice how we do it. And this is how we find ourselves at the pantry, standing there looking for something every time we are bored or stressed or worried or grab into the drawer where you know all the chocolates are. So this is how we get those automatic behaviors that we can break by practicing those tools by creating awareness and then choose how we can respond to that feeling instead of react to it. And then also ask yourself, why am I eating? Am I hungry? Am I bored? Am I frustrated? Do I need to have a whole conversation? So again, getting becoming aware and creating that awareness why I'm eating, why I'm making those choices and can I make a different choice that feels right and feels good to me and that it's also aligned with the goals that I have that might be um, feeling good, it might be losing weight, it might be stopping binge eating, stopping overeating as much as we can. So you might have your personal fitness, health and wellness goals. And the next tip is to be prepared. That means if you know there is um, a party in the evening, don't be hungry. Don't starve yourself to save those calories for the night because you will be way too hungry and then go over and eat anything that's in your sight. So that's not going to be helpful. Have nice and balanced meals throughout the day. You don't need to overeat, but also don't starve yourself. Eat enough so then you are prepared and ready to have just another meal instead of a whole feast of it. If, for example, they even suggest to bring a plate, then it, it's a great opportunity to bring a plate of really nourishing and delicious and healthy, maybe snacks or a meal, so you know ah, if there is nothing else available or there's something that I don't want, I still have this and I, this is my backup for you, something to go to if you choose to. Once you are there, my suggestion is grab a plate and really choose what you would like to have on this plate. And great questions to ask yourself is, what would really satisfy me? What would really satisfy me? Not what is healthy, not what would make me, make me look good in front of other people, but really what would satisfy me? And choose a variety of different meals. It can be something sweet. It can be something, something that you usually would need every day. It doesn't really matter, but just go and grab things that really look delicious to you, that would satisfy you. And also another question to ask yourself, how much would satisfy me? So you make a choice how much would actually feel good while you're eating and also after that as well. But really make sure that you don't restrict yourself, don't go into the dietist mentality thinking, give yourself a variety of food that you really would love and enjoy and enjoy as well. By doing this, what you're doing is you're allowing, you're giving yourself permission to eat the food that you love. So you will naturally find actually you will eat 
probably less of it as well because you gave yourself permission it doesn't feel like it's the last opportunity that I have so and then after that I will go on a diet and be good so I might as well eat everything no this is not the last time that you eat that food this is just one of those opportunities and there will be another opportunity that you that will present you itself to have more of those foods so we are here working with the psychology of how our brain works instead of against it. And once you've eaten, once you feel like, yes, I, I've had enough to eat, prepare a glass of water and have it in your hands. And that way it keeps you occupied, keeps your hands occupied. And if there are any awkward situations, you can sip on that water instead of constantly mindlessly grabbing that food that's available to you. If it is possible, maybe also stay away from the food that's that's around, around you. Like sometimes, for example, people would place themselves where the food is available. Now that is then just, of course, it will lead you to eat mindlessly and reach out to that food mindlessly because the way our brain works is it predicts pleasure. If our brain predicts pleasure, it already is releasing the dopamine and we will want that. And that very typically we will then eat more than we need to. So stay away from where the food is, go and enjoy yourself, connect with other people, talk to other people, have fun and really focus on those people around you or on the purpose of why you are there. And if you're then hungry again, because you know the party maybe is going for four, five, six, seven hours, who knows, then you just go and have Again, the same strategy, grab a plate, choose how much you would like to have, what would really satisfy you. Put that on the plate so you have nice and beautiful variety of all the food that you love and then enjoy and repeat that process. Every time you're hungry, go and eat it, enjoy. And also, please remember that Christmas is only once a year. Give yourself permission to enjoy this time as much as you can. Enjoy those around you and don't worry about food as much as it's possible. Because, you know, Christmas will be exactly the same when we feel in control around food, when we feel at peace around food. Christmas season is exactly the same time as any other day. The same as Sunday is it's like just another day in the week. Christmas is just another day in our year. It's an opportunity for us to just be, to enjoy our time with our family and our loved ones. I wish you a beautiful, beautiful Christmas season. Go well into the new year. And I hope to see you all very soon again here on my YouTube channel. And if you like the video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have your support. Bye.